time-saving templates and today I'm going to be going over a quick demonstration of a template we have here at time-saving templates and that is for getting your Airbnb expenses and income organized and we've had this template for a while now and it does come with a PDF directions but I figured why not jump in and give you specific examples of how to use this. So this template comes in several different variations and there's up to, you can get a version with four Airbnbs up to 20 Airbnbs. This is the 20 property version. So in this example, you'll see there's several tabs and pages at the bottom. Each Airbnb tab is for a specific Airbnb property. So each tab is set up so that you can download directly from Airbnb your payout information, copy and paste it in, and then it will automatically sum up your totals here, which your income and then your Airbnb fees. And I'm gonna show you an example of how to download that information on Airbnb. But you can also add your own expenses in here so you can have everything all together, either standard expenses that are the same every month or variable expenses I'm gonna to click to. And so here you can set names for each property. Right now it's just listing numbers for them, but you would come here to the variable expense Expenses, select which property, which expense category, Let's see, repairs, and then you would just put in an amount and the date if you would like as well. So you can list as many expenses as you need to. And then there's also the standard uh, monthly expenses that you can add to each property. First part, this is if you're using it as a short term Airbnb, you probably won't need to be entering monthly rent. But if in the case you did have someone rent for one to three months at a time, you can put a monthly rate and it'll populate for all 12 months. But if you want to end that, it, say it's only through March, you could just delete the other months or you could put starting in April is just set to zero. So that'll add it just for those months. And then expenses that happen that are the same every month. If you, for example, like an advertising expense, $30 a month, it'll populate in, in, in that section as well. Okay, so going back to the summary page, I've already pasted in some information from Airbnb in here, but let me show you how to get to that page. Okay, so starting in the main Airbnb page, you're gonna go to your login and go to your profile and then go to account. Then you're gonna go to payments and payout. Then you're gonna go to payouts. They make you click a lot just to get to this one place. Go to your transaction history, and this is where you can select the information for completed payouts, all payment methods, all listings. You might be able to break that up between different rental properties. So if you, I would select one property at a time to put into the template if you have more than one. So it's already set January to October 2022, and then I would just export. This is a dummy account, by the way. So there's nothing in here. And so that's gonna export your CSV open when done. And hopefully you have some data in here, unlike me. So it's just a blank dummy version, but I but basically if you had, you know, 20 rows or however many rows, you would highlight the data you have, um, not the header, and just do control C or right click copy, and then you would come into the template and um, just right underneath the header and column A, just paste your information. So I set up some sample data here just with some dates and amounts. So just to get the idea, we're gonna have the amount. That's the amount of payout, so that's not actually gross. So I have formulas to the right to add in the gross. So this is the amount they paid out minus the host fee, the actual gross total amount is amount plus host fee. And then this amount includes this cleaning fee is more of income to you. So this is not 
necessarily your exact expense for cleaning fees. So you would, what I recommend is that it's fine to include the cleaning fee is income. And that's how it's adding up here. It's adding that cleaning fee as part of the income. And then you would need to go and enter your actual cleaning fees because it could vary as an expense. And that's if you, maybe you don't charge the same amount for cleaning fee that you end up paying for it. So just little things like that. So that is basically how you use the template. You can do a whole year at one time. You know, if you wanna do it every month, you can do it every month. And this is just totaling your annual numbers. So it's just gonna be year to date. We do have other options if you want to look at some quarterly information. We do have a quarterly template that works with Airbnb and other long-term rentals. Now, if you use VRBO, you have VRBO and Airbnb combined into one template to where you can have one property and you're listing on both Airbnb and VRBO. So just be sure to select the option for VRBO and Airbnb if that is your situation. With the quarterly report, that one does not come with VRBO yet because they seem to change their columns a lot, but this will work with Airbnb and or long-term properties and this just has an extra page. So it still has the same summary page, very similar to the other template, but it has an extra page with a chart for each month. So we'll have a grand total summary that is showing you January, February, March of all your Airbnbs. And this one goes up to six property. But then if you scroll to the right, you can see each Airbnb property one at a time for your monthly totals. And this will break out your rental income versus your cleaning fee income, and then um, your host fees. And same as the other template, you can enter in all your other variable expenses, and also you can enter in your standard expenses here. So I hope that helps explain how to use this template to hopefully save you a little bit of time in setting up formulas and get through tracking your rental income and expenses. I will link to those two templates I went over, but if you're thinking, well, wait, I have other types of properties, I have long-term, there's uh, several different options, but we do have a rental template quiz and I'll link to that as well. You can take this quiz to, and it will recommend and link to the template um, that we recommend because there are quite a few variations depending on what you're looking to do. If you're looking to track uh, management fees, if you're looking to track income source or printing rental receipt, as you click on each option, it's gonna ask you you know, a couple questions. It won't take long, a couple minutes maybe. And so that's also another way to kind of see an overview of the options available to you and what will most importantly help you save time. So I hope that helps. And also we have some free resources that you can also check out if you go to timesavingtemplates.com slash free resources. We do have a home improvement template. So just more of a simple rental template that you can kind of test it out with. So I hope this helps. And until next time, don't forget that I'm here to help you streamline and save time when it comes to using Excel spreadsheets for your rental properties. And we also have options for small businesses in human resources. So if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like and subscribe. And thank you so much.